Well, to tell us more about Tuesday's meeting with traditional uh, leaders in the Eastern Cape, uh, is the Eastern Cape's rather, MEC for Local and Traditional Affairs, Nibo Koboshiane. He joins us now on the line from RI Tambo International. Mr. Koboshiane, welcome to ENCA. Last year, um, at the, towards the end of December, local, the Eastern Cape local government met with various stakeholders to discuss yeah. the deaths of initiates. This was at the point where about 30 initiates had died. We're now at a point where 40 have, um, have died. What is the outcome of that meeting? And do you believe that uh, whatever resolutions came out of that have either stemmed, stemmed um, have, have, have had made any difference, in fact, in, in stopping more deaths? Yes. Uh, good afternoon and good afternoon to the listeners. Uh, what I can confirm is that indeed we are deeply hurt by what we are seeing occurring in our province, especially during the season of initiation, as you are correctly saying. But we have decided uh, to be much more stronger on campaigns. And what we are going to do on Tuesday, we are going to receive a report of the summer season uh, on initiation, as well as to present a clearer plan to centralize initiation school in areas where death, um, injury, and incidents are record high. And definitely show our aim is to maximize capacity and resource usage and better treatment and care, as well as monitoring and support for those that are still uh, going to attain this same ritual in the month of June or winter season that is coming. In your meetings with traditional leaders and other stakeholders, the idea of communal initiation schools, did it, ha did it receive a positive response and is it a feasible or viable option? Uh, ever since we started the campaigns, I can uh, confirm that there is a tremendous uh, growth of understanding. But uh, indeed, we are also looking at the level within which young people, the peer pressure, people that are led, uh, the families themselves, and the child-headed families, where there is no infrastructure completely of the requisite order. And uh, underage children going this traditional right and uh, unscrupulous uh, traditional surgeons without traditional nurses is what we have identified in the past 10 recent months. But what we have done is established throughout the Eastern Pondoland, for instance, uh, the circumcision uh, forums, whereby we are closing down all illegal initiation schools and uh, working with NGOs, for instance, for question of treatment, uh, the, those uh, that are monitoring uh, dehydration and all other aspects, and the medication and treatment of those that are going for this ritual without properly adequately informed of what is expected. And I think uh, that uh, kind of education, visiting schools, addressing traditional councils, meeting kings and chiefs, is also what we were intensifying in the last uh, few years. But I can say, as I am now indicating through the reports that I've received, there is need to escalate. This is a tragedy, and I think extraordinary measures have to be applied. Well, speaking of uh, extraordinary measures that you've just mentioned, in terms of, in, in the cases where there are deaths at initiation schools, you've spoken yes. about unscrupulous um, traditional surgeons and, and people performing surgeries not, in uh -huh. fact, not being able to do so. What, yes. what other measures are actually being taken? I understand that in your last meeting you did appeal to the NPA to look at exactly. prosecuting those people. We have already met uh, senior uh, South African police, uh, uh, the detective, the investigators, people that are going to conduct search and seizures and closure of such illegal schools, for instance. And I think all the cases of the 40 initiates that passed on are now uh, receiving uh, a high-level consideration in terms of showing exactly what kind of preferred charges uh, can be meted against all those that have uh, caused all this pain injury uh, to those uh, young boys. And I think uh, this unprecedented move also of meeting the NPA and um, the Director of Public Prosecution, because we want all those cases to be fast-tracked, investigated, and the reports from doctors to be obtained such that we can deal decisively with this tendency. After the summer season, the uh, summer, uh, summer initiation season, going into the winter season, what uh -huh. do you want to see happening uh, as far as initiates what education are you, yes. are you giving them as far as where they should be going, what they should be looking out for after, after the circumcision? In terms of health care, and you mm -hmm. mentioned dehydration earlier on, at which point are you educating them to say there needs to be some kind of intervention, despite that social pressure, to stick it out and essentially to be a man? The reality of the situation is that uh, government is always ready. The problem is that uh, when the families and the social fabric is collapsing it's difficult because this is 
a family ritual. This is a tradition, this is a culture and a custom, which cannot necessarily be totally managed by government or government officials, for instance. But uh, adequately, we are meeting as a Department of Health, Department of Local Government and Traditional Affairs, the House of Traditional Leaders, and all the NGOs that have an interest to ensure this matter is resolved, including all traditional councils and incos in those particular areas. Just to say the law has been laid, it is quite clear, the procedure is known, and uh, we want to intensify the campaign to ensure that there is no season that we must record death instead of festivities for boys that have been graduating from boyhood to manhood. That is what we want to establish, and the society that is taking care and effort of their own kids and children. This is what we are intent doing. Well, thank you for your time. That was Mlibo Koboshiane, MEC for Local and Traditional Affairs in the Eastern Cape. You deserve to know more. ENCA.com.